Hello, this is Tony Messer here at PickleWeb and just a very quick video to explain exactly how to transfer a US domain name. We're talking here about .com, .net, .info, .biz, .org, these types of domain. These are US domain names and they're issued um, in the United States by an organization called ICANN and um, they're different from the UK domain names. The UK domains have a different transfer process, for example, .co.uk, .org.uk and I'll cover that in a separate video. So the first thing that you need to do is to place an order for a domain transfer and all you, all you do is click here at the top shopping cart and then, then you'll be taken to a shopping cart page and here just select domain registration from that drop down menu and then select the second option I want to transfer my domain to pick a web. Now with the US domain transfers there is a cost associated with this and um, that's one the, the cost is equivalent to one year of domain registration fees but when your domain is transferred into us one year is automatically added to the expiry so for example if your domain is currently due to expire on the 1st of, of January 2012 once you've transferred and completed it will then extend it by one year to the 1st of January 2013 okay so here you just enter your uh, domain name so in this case um, I'm going to use an example pickaweb.net for example um, and you just enter the, the actual domain here and then just choose the extension from the drop down menu here you check availability and it will then show you yes that domain is available for transfer and you can go on and complete the transfer um, order and make your payment now the first thing that will happen is that you will be sent an email asking you to confirm the transfer and I'll explain that in a moment but before I do that let me show you quickly um, I'm just going to take you to a page that's called the who is and um, I'll include the link in the for, for you below and um, just enter in the domain name that you wish to transfer and click on search and this gives you some important information about the domain name now there's two things that I just want to draw your attention to first here it says status okay it's very important that the status is okay or active if it's something negative like um, transfer prohibited something like that then that means that your domain is currently locked because US domain names have got a locking facility it's like a security feature and all you need to do is if you have a domain management area you can normally log in there with your domain registration company and unlock your domain name if you're unsure just drop them a quick email or give them a phone call and they will advise you how you can do that but it's very easy and very straightforward to do that and the first thing you must check is that your domain name is unlocked okay um, next thing that you need to do as well is just check that the um, uh, the admin email which is showing here um, is an active um, email address because sometimes um, companies will use a um, an email address which is not um, currently active or, or maybe they use their own email and what will happen is that that transfer email that I spoke about that will get sent to an email address which you don't monitor and you can't actually then complete the transfer so it's very important to check that you are the administrative contact again if you're not listed there if your if your email has changed or if they've put uh, their email address in there you can log into your domain management area and make the change or you must ask your uh, domain registration company to just make that change for you and when you can see on the who is that the domain is active or okay the status and also that your email address is showing as the admin email then you can complete the transfer so you'll receive an email the final thing that you need is to get an auth code that's a u t h h or it's also known as an epp code again log into your domain management area and you should usually be able to access that code there if not ask your domain registration company to provide the domain's auth code or epp code and that's echo papa papa code and they will provide that for you if you open the email that you've been sent for, uh, by pickerweb You'll be, um, it will just summarize that you've requested the transfer. You need to click on a link in there and then you will need to enter your EPP or your auth code and confirm that you wish to complete the transfer. The domain will then automatically transfer into the PickerWeb system. Okay, if you have any problems at all, just go up here on the top right hand corner. Our 24 hour uh, help team is there for you. Okay, thanks very much.